I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. The realtor who's being sued by Flagler County after mold was found in the Sears building is on the defensive. In a statement sent to WNZF, Margaret Sheehan Jones of Parkside Realty says she had no knowledge of any water intrusion at the property and claims the seller didn't disclose anything either. She claims the county hired an independent inspector who determined the condition of the property and they didn't find any cause for concern. She adds, since the water intrusion and mold were found only after the removal of walls, it's unreasonable to say she could have known. She and Jones says she looks forward to the truth coming out. It's unfortunate that it's ended this way. That's Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley, who's back to square one when it comes to finding a temporary home for his office. The former Sheriff's Office Operations Center in Bedell, plagued by mold, has sat empty since last June and remains the subject of several workers' comp complaints. Now the Sheriff's Office's second chance at a temporary home has been halted as well. I appreciate the county administrator having his staff thoroughly check the Sears building before my employees moved in there. That revealed significant structural and mold issues And as a result, he and I discussed, and that building will no longer be considered a temporary solution for the sheriff's district office and some of our operations. Flagler County Commissioners decided to build a new operations center altogether in Palm Coast, but construction could take up to two years. This portion of Flagler's Morning News brought to you by the Daytona Beach International Airport, Sunwing Airlines, nonstop to Toronto, and now nonstop service to New York City via American Airlines. A father and son are arrested after deputies say they were assaulted. John Arking has more. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office was called to a home on Old Kings Road South just after midnight Friday for a verbal disturbance. Once on scene, deputies made contact with witnesses who said a man, later identified as 51-year-old Darren Kubek, was behaving strangely, saying he had lost his son, 25-year-old Tyler Kubek. Tyler Kubek has an active warrant for his arrest out of Volusia County for failure to return leased equipment. When deputies responded to Darren Kubek's trailer, they found him walking outside and ordered him to stop, at which point he tried to run inside and had to be restrained. Deputies then located his son Tyler and placed him under arrest, at which point he attempted to flee. As deputies attempted to get him under control, his father, Darren, began jumping on their backs and struck one deputy in the eye with his fist. Tyler was actively resisting deputies as well by pinching and attempting to pull up their gun belts. Several other deputies arrived on scene and secured both father and son. Darren Kubek is being charged with resisting an officer without violence and battery on a law enforcement officer. Tyler Kubek is being charged with battery on a law enforcement officer and attempted escape. Both are being held without bond. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. Flagler County has the highest suicide rate in the state. So how do we tell if a person is suicidal? Jonathan Tannenbaum of Stuart Marchman Act Behavioral Health Care says, ask. One of the biggest myths is that if you ask them the question, are you feeling suicidal, that you're going to put that thought into their head, and that's not true. The best way to find out if somebody is feeling that way is to ask them. Tannenbaum said that if somebody says they're feeling hopeless and they want to kill themselves, that's a sign that you need to ask another is if their interests have changed. Maybe if they're just having a sudden interest in something that could be lethal, like not ever having wanted to deal with guns before, now all of a sudden they're fascinated with them. Tannenbaum said that issues like losing a job, lack of money, or other day-to-day stresses could cause a person to talk about suicide. If you need to know how to talk to somebody about suicide, there will be a town hall on suicide on Thursday night from 6 to 8, and WNZF will carry it live. Tomorrow, Flagler County School Superintendent Jim Tager discusses how to ask if somebody needs help. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. Working as a realtor in Flagler County just got safer, Tony Magoo explains. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office will now offer security for realtors who feel unsafe when showing property to prospective renters and or buyers. Realtors who feel uneasy about showing a property at night or to someone they do not know can now contact the Sheriff's Office and request a deputy to accompany them. We want Flagler County to be the safest place to live, visit, and work in Florida. Offering this service is just another way that we are working to keep our citizens safe, Sheriff Rick Staley said. To request a deputy for a property showing, please call the Flagler County Sheriff's Office non-emergency number at 313-4911. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.